I call this block Easy Weave because it's a loosely woven look. It looks like woven threads. It's a 12 inch block and here is the block diagram. Here's what the quilt looks like, a 60 by 84 inch quilt. And I have instructions here of how much fabric you need if you want to make this quilt. You'll make 35 blocks and set them five across and seven down. And these are the fabric you need for the, the top and the binding. Up here, we have the cutting diagrams. You're going to cut squares and then cut that, them in half to make half square triangles. And there are four patches. And then you're going to cut more squares and cut them twice in half to make quarter square triangles. And then we have these. I want to give you a short little tutorial about half square triangles and quarter square triangles. Because when I give you the instructions on most of these for rotary cutting, you're taking a square and you're cutting it once in the diagonal or twice in the diagonal. We'll start with the half square triangle because we're mostly familiar with that. So this is, this measures three and seven eighths. If this was a square, I, would, I cut this with the AccuQuilt, so that's why these corners are cut off. So you don't have any points to cut off once you sew it. But if this were a square, it would be three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And I've got it laid out on this grid so you can kind of see that. It's cut in half and then you have two half square triangles. And this will be finished at three inches. We call this half square triangle a three inch finished square because it's a square that's finished at three inches but it's a half square triangle because you have this piece and then you have another piece once you sew it together will make your half square triangle that you're you're all familiar with. Once you sew these two pieces together and then you sew the block into a quilt it'll be three inch finished. But when you cut triangles, half square triangles from a square, you add 7 8 inches to the finished size. So that's why this square would be 3 and 7 8 Okay, now let's look at the quarter square triangle. This is where you take a square and in this case it's going to be a 3 inch finished square as well. This square would measure 4 and a quarter inches. Again, this is cut with the AccuQuilt so the little square is cut out. If you rotary cut this, it would come to a point on all these corners. So once you cut this into fours, which is one quarter, this is why they call this a quarter square triangle. And one thing I want you to notice that I think is very important about triangles and sewing with triangles, you'll notice that these edges are the outside edges. So this is your crosswise grain on your fabric and this is your lengthwise or vice versa. It's going to be one of the other. If I pick this up and pop it like this, you can hear it because this is the lengthwise or crosswise grain and this is a stronger grain than this which is the bias. You see how this, it doesn't make any sound and it stretches out because this is cut on the angle, on the bias. And the bias goes at a 45 degree angle to the crosswise and lengthwise grains. And when you put these pieces in your block, you want this lengthwise or crosswise grain to always be on the outside. So if this is the finished block, this is the lengthwise or crosswise grain, and so is this, so is this and this because that makes the block stronger and it makes your quilt stronger. And you can really see the bias in this half square triangle. If I pull it, it really distorts and stretches. But this part, it doesn't. And the lengthwise grain, which is stronger than the crosswise, this is the lengthwise, it's louder. This is the crosswise, it's a little bit lower tone. A lot of things you see like uh, to make half square triangles, they'll take a square and put another piece of fabric on top of it 
and sew around these edges. Then you cut your, your uh, half square triangle in half. And what that makes, and you open it up, these bias edges are along the outside of the block. And to me, it's a lot more difficult to work with that because you're going to have wavy edges because the bias is now on the outside of the block. If you are sewing with the AccuQuilt because you have these dog ears cut off, you always want to end at the very point. That way, when you open this up and you press it, you'll have a nice You'll have a nice sharp point here, and then your diagonal will end right in the point. So watch that as you're sewing, you'll have these points will look nicer. This is an exploded view of the block, and over here, here are the different units you make. There are four different units, and you make four of each. So it's probably easier if you just piece these and then follow the diagram and put them together in the block. There's another quilt I made a video of last year called Woven and you can see this on the side of the split screen what it looks like and there is a link up at the top to take you to that video tutorial if you want to see it and you have complete instructions for making a larger quilt. Here are the pieces all cut out and I'm going to start with this first one just to show you how it's done. You're going to choose one of the larger triangles. Here we're going to put the black and then we'll put the white. Let's see how this goes like this and then the gray goes like this. We'll sew these two pieces together first and then sew them to this triangle and we'll make four of those. And you do that for the other three as well and you'll have 16 patches.